This house on Farmstead Drive in Milton was originally listed at nearly $1.5 million in March, according to the real estate market company House Sigma. After that listing was terminated, it went back on the market for one299 42 days ago. This is just one example of what we are seeing in Milton and Oakville, according to Vishal Kapoor, president of the Oakville, Milton and District Real Estate Board. He says trends are actually good for the consumer. I would say like in the, over the past three months, there are encouraging trends emerging that indicate a better balance in the market, uh, which has been much needed. While supply may remain a challenge moving forward, another significant monthly increase in available inventory of all home times across Oakville and Milton is a good sign and means more choice for buyers. Uh, with the Bank of Canada's raised recent interest rate changes, some potential buyers may have elected to pause their home search. However, this ultimately provides ready buyers with more negotiating power. Most recently, average prices did stay strong in May across the market rising, um, like around 7% for detached homes and 15% for townhouse condo segments, respectively. However, on a month over month basis, average details prices dropped and townhouse condo prices are nearly at par. On contrary, the rental market is very hot now. Almost 24% increase in rental prices year over year. Although rising interest rates are concerning for homeowners in Milton and Oakville, Kapoor says the market is still in relatively good shape, up between 15 and 20 percent from last year. In fact, what Kapoor is saying should be the main issue is the housing supply. Not having enough housing supply, not having enough affordable housing, not having enough infrastructure. I will focus on like more on infrastructure because if infrastructure grow, Housing will come, builder will build on these areas as well, because that's one of the issue. Um, so there was a recent study. It was like, you know, we are short like a 1.5 million houses. One of the solutions that we as consumers can control, according to Kapoor, is to change our mindset about housing. In general, our Canadian, they lock uh, they like single family home. They don't like to live in condo apartments. Like a condo apartment is, it's a starter home or like mostly uh, if they're renting and then they move on to like at the townhouse, townhouse to semi, semi to detach, bigger houses. That's how the cycle work over here. So again, we have to change that mindset um, that not necessarily house doesn't mean the single family home. So yes, it is likely you will have to pay higher interest rates than what we've seen in previous years. But Kapoor says with proper financial planning, it is always a good time to buy. He goes on to say the average Canadian lives in their home at least five years. And in that time, property prices will still give you a good return. For Halton News in Milton, I'm Melissa Candelaria.